Okay, so you're finding that when your iPod Touch or iPhone 1, 2G, 3G or 4G or even the 5G that your Wi-Fi isn't working. So when you go into Wi-Fi, you turn it on and then even if you even if it does say that it connects it just doesn't come up with the Wi-Fi symbol in the top now mine will come up in the top because it is working currently but for uh, let's say it's uh, so let's say you are connected to your Wi-Fi and it doesn't come up for example it's not coming up now which could be in, oh there you go so anyway if it doesn't come up I'll show you how to fix it so you first you want to turn it off okay and then you want to go to settings you want to go back and then you want to go to general okay and then once you're in general you want to scroll down to the bottom now the reason I'm using my iPod touch and not an iPhone or uh, iPod touch 4G is because I want to show you that you can do this on any version of iTunes so currently I'm running uh, 4.2.1 and I'll show you that right now actually so let's go to general and then go to and then it will say the version, so there you go, 4.2.1. So this is definitely going to work on all the uh, current types of iTunes. And I, um, some of you already uh, noticed that I've got some jailbreak apps. Do not worry about that. Even though mine is jailbroken, it doesn't matter if it's jailbroken or not. It will still fix it even if it isn't, so do not worry about that. So anyway, you want to go to General. And you only got to scroll down to the bottom and you want to go to reset and then it will come up with all these options so you want to tap on uh, reset network settings and you want to click and it will come up with this obviously uh, for it to work you want to click on reset network sec uh, settings so it should take a couple of minutes for me currently mine's uh, jailbroken so it might take a while to do it but hopefully it should work quite quickly and let's wait for that to load. Hopefully that will load any minute now. Sorry about the delay. Okay. And obviously it is booting there. Okay, so that should have loaded by now. Sorry it uh, took that long. So let's just unlock it. Okay, and then you want to go straight to settings again. And luckily, you do not have to do apps or uh, anything. So you want to go straight to Wi Fi and then turn it on. And as soon as you turn it on, it should work. If you've done it, it should reconnect straight away. And obviously, that should work now. That should fix the problem for almost every device. I found that this is a fault that happens with Apple, and it usually works for all the current types. It also works for my iPhone 5 and my iPod Touch 4G. So thank you very much for the, uh, watching. If this video helped, please click the like button.